So I just bought an AV1 300 gigabit pass-through powerline starter kit, TLPA 8010P kit, with two of these, and my performance is not great. 55 megabits download. It was better with the kit I had before. This one that I have now is the AV1300. Before that I had the AV600. So my setup you can see here on the right hand side. Uh, this is a different room where my router is connected to the cable socket and then there's a power line adapter connected to this. And then in this room where my computer is standing is the power line adapter that feeds into my computer. And that gives me this kind of result of download speed. This is what it looks like in my room. The cable goes into my computer here. This is what it looks like near the router. So here's a power line adapter. There is a computer here as well. It is connected to the router directly by Ethernet cable. It gets more than the actually contractually promised 200 megabits and slightly more than the 50. So what I did is I plugged in a cable, an extension cable here, the multi plug, and then it just keeps going and 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 going. Oh yeah, by the way, we can see I'm supposed to have 187 megabits and 128 megabits. I really don't know what the TP-Link tool is good for if it doesn't give you the real world speeds. So we're gonna just take this out. Not quite enough, gonna have to add another one to this chain. Okay, so now I'll just plug it in here. All right, now we're waiting for this to connect. So this is still plugged in there, but the one, the power line adapter in my room is plugged in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is much better. <laughs> oh man, I don't want to do this though. I don't want to. All right, let's do a little bit more experimentation. What if we just, hmm, what if we just use this? Because there's a router here. Instead of uh, electricity, I'm going to extend an Ethernet cable. So this goes away now. And now we're going to put an Ethernet cable from the router to a power line adapter in this socket. And the power line adapter in my room will be where it will, was always. Okay, that actually worked. Uh, I only needed one extender, like a one female female Ethernet clip to get the router to connect to a power line adapter connected here. Definitely an improvement. I would be super happy with that. Maybe I, that'll be my solution. Maybe I'll just go for, for an Ethernet cable along the wall here so I can enjoy a one, 159, 160 download speeds. Okay, let's do one more experiment. Uh, this time I'm going to replace this one with a Wi-Fi capable AV600. It's already, uh, how do you say, securely linked to the AV1300s. Here we are. This one should not give me more than a, a hundred megabits per second because it's not gigabit capable. Yeah, it just gives me like 80, 90 nearly. Yeah, well, that's fine. I'm going to move this back here uh, and I'm going to keep the, the power line adapter I have in this room just to see the speed difference. All right, so we are connected like this again, but this time one of the devices is uh, AV600. Okay. That's not interesting. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect a AV600A adapter, the one that you have to connect to the router, uh, over here. And I'm going to keep the AV600 over here, because my experience was that they provide better speeds with this setup than the AV1300s for some weird reason. Well, slightly better. 65, I think. 75 on a good day. Interesting. Oh, well. Definitely better, weirdly enough. All right, and now we're gonna go the funny way again with the 600s and just see how, how the max possible speed is here. That one's gonna stay there. This one's gonna be there. Yeah, yeah. Again, 100's the limit we're not gonna break, but we're getting quite close, aren't we? Well, looks like the wiring in this uh, building is subpar for what I'm trying to do. I think I'm going to go with Ethernet cable over here and then power line adapters right here. Seems like the most sensible decision. Or I could go the Wi-Fi route. But do I want to? I don't think so. Well, I'm glad to have shared these tests with you. Hopefully this gives you some insight and some weirdness into how an older model can be more powerful than a new one.
See you next time. Ciao.